Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Last time we traveled to the future and now we're playing as Yugi who's doing a Battle City tournament thing. I was doing quite a few duels here. Um, probably maybe should have fought Rex, but I don't need dinosaurs, I need dragons. And uh, Seto gave me none, so that that's great. Like, his deck is like... Pretty much bones. I, I was just getting zombies. Like, thank you. And I can't beat Haitian. He's too too strong for me. I did get one Thunder Monster from Villager Three, so that's good. I can now make Twin Headed Thunder Dragon if the conditions are right. So yeah. Um. It ain't looking good for me, fam. Not gonna lie. But that's beside the point. We're going to go back to campaign mode because, hey, we need to go on. My deck is decent enough now. It's, it, it sucks. It's bad. But you know what? We're just going to not give up. We're just going to keep going. Preliminary match number two, Yugi versus Weevil Underwood. I didn't even do a special opening for this. Get your game on. Welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, all right. <laughs> it's only fair to tell you, you ain't got a chance. My army of insects will make mince meat out of you. Sure thing, kid. Yeah, like, you know, I got a Gucci. Ooh, you know, look at him. And man-eating plant, which can kind of be a little bit useful. But, you know, maybe not too much. Um, I don't feel like searching. I mean, I got Mammoth Graveyard, which apparently is not a zombie, it's a dinosaur. That's why being a mammoth. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Um, what else did I get? I know some of those zombies were new, I just can't remember which is which. Yeah, we got Electric Snake now. Yep. I'm so screwed. <laughs> Let's just go. Alright. Hopefully he does not throw out Great Moth. Like Haitian can. Because he threw out Great Moth in one of my duels. Against him, one of my attempts. So that was... That was... That was sad times. That was sad times. What can I make? My memory is gone. Um... I don't think plant and dinosaur makes anything. Can I get water dino? No, I cannot. What you got, son? Barrel rock. All right, all right. Man, why why must you ha cap it like five times? Okay. I have no idea if this is going to make anything. Probably not. Maybe I should have checked the star. Oh no, here we go. Mystical sand! Alright. Um, thank you. Pretty much this deck is just like, for the love of God, please let me get a dragon. <laughs> just draw cards till I get a dragon. Also, I saw a thing about card drops in this game. You ever just um, feel like crying? Okay. I don't know if he's gonna take the bait. Mm. 
Oh, wait! I have the better Guardian Star. Oh. Alright, well then, cool. <laughs> what, me worry? Okay. What you doing this time, but Pumpkin? You're Weevil, and you just put him in attack mode. You're... You, you put your Barrel Rock in attack mode. What? Surely, surely I can get a little something if I just, you know, put a little zombie on my little D. <laughs> Fuck. Okay then. Well, take care of him, Thousand Dragon. Take care of him, little D. I'm just smashing my little D against a rock, you know? <laughs> I am awful. Okay. I can make... Woman and... Woman and Beast can get me Neko Gal. But I think I could get, like... Not Mystical Sand, but Queen of Autumn Leaves? But I don't remember how. I'm just gonna see if I can get like a mermaid or something. Nope! That backfired tremendously. Why don't you have the fusion last up? You know, that would actually be a really good idea. So let me go ahead and grab that. No, Horn Imp! Okay, Control F, Queen. I, 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 yeah, Queen of Autumn Leaves. Female and plant. Oh. Oh, that. Um. But then Arlana is a plant female, so what I fuse her with, or would I just fuse her with plant? Or could I theoretically fuse her with another female? I'm genuinely curious. Also, that I could probably get Cyberwolf. Oh, but Cyberwolf is twelve fifty, right? Um, yeah, screw it. It's something that can, like, deal some damage. Oh, 1,200. My bad. Alright. Oh! Yeah, that's right. I was talking about card drops. Um, I should not have closed the tab. But, essentially there are quite a few things that can affect card drops. Let's see if it's still in my, like, recent history. And let me just go ahead and uh, do that. Forbidden Memories dropped cards. Do, 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 do. Meanwhile, um... <clears throat> I can give it a shot. Oh, okay, that does work. Alright, so just... Arlane with the plant, and I get Queen of Autumn Leaves. I don't know why I thought she was 2100. I I swear to God, I thought I saw, like... I mean, th 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 tell me the card drop rates. Card drop formula, there we go. I'm sorry, I, I know I'm wasting time. Uh, let, me, let me just go ahead. I risk it. I risk it. I should not have risked it. Oh well. <laughs> Why is this not in my history? Like. Okay. 
found it. I know a bit, quite a bit about Forbidden Memories. I've been playing since I was a child. I watched Speedrunners. I would play the game and explain it as well. To the top of my head, these are the things that factor into which card you get from a duel. The frame the game is in when you get to the deck building screen before a duel. The number of fusions you make. The number of cards you use, number of trap cards activated on the field, the number of card attacks against either position monster directly, or if it is below or two below two thousand or above, uh, the number of three D duels, how many were selected, how many were actually watched. That's insane. But I already knew about like the frame thing because that's even how it dictates the uh, deck you get at the beginning of the game. That's why like. A lot of speedrunners use, like, this clock to help them, like, figure out, like, you know, or not a clock, but, like, a specialized timer to, like, navigate the menus when you need to to get the uh, best possible cards. I am horrible at explaining these things, but hopefully you get the gist of it. Like, when you're speedrunning this, you want to start on a very particular frame. Oh, shoot. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, you want to start on a very particular frame to get, like, a deck that can allow you to make multiple uh, twin-headed thunder dragons. And then you use that to your advantage in free duel to try to beat Haitian a few times and get, you know, an S rating on the battle to get a very good dragon monster, Terror the Terrible. Weevil, you fucking use bugs. Why do you have Terra the Terrible? I lost! I lost! My army of insects, defeated by the likes of you! Cry home to your mommy. I hear you're doing pretty well. What do you want to do? Shut up, Taya. I'm salty. Oh, actually, those stats are uh, not bad, actually. Um... No, as a dweller of the swamps, this creature is a minion of the dark forces. Yes, no. <laughs> you gotta love uh, 90s PS2 games. Okay, do I have uh, another spell cast? I guess I can get rid of her, Kale. Well, let me get rid of. Mm. Nah, because I don't really know my spellcaster fusions that well. That's what the list is for. Yeah, you're right, voice in my head, but... I'm sorry, fiend, not spellcaster. Oh, well, I'm not really using her kale like that anyway. I also need to remember to do some 3D duels here. What do you want to do? We'll save. Save rarely, save often. I am not fighting Weevil again. Outside of free duel. Preliminary match number three. Yugi versus my Valentine. You should have quit before you faced me. You're going to regret it. Alright, who's ready for some harpy bullshit? I am. I am. <laughs> Yo, like, do y'all hate me or something? Like, what, what have I done to you? We'll put some Terror the Terrible out in uh, face down defense mode. It's not gonna be enough to survive if she summons a harpy lady. Magic card, that's probably Mirror Force. Or Magic card, Trap card, I mean. Um, or not mirror force, mirror wall, or it could be either, really. Um, I don't even know. Can this? I feel like I did fish with something in one of my free duels and got like something. I did ice water. I didn't get ice water, I got something better than that. Um, I know dragon in water can get me, like, spiked Seedra, which is considered a uh, aquatic beast, so yay, not a dragon. Very aggressive mermaid with spikes for attacking enemies. Called it. 
Oh, fake trap. That's way uh, tamer than what I was expecting. I'll take it. We got that ice water, it'll quench your thirst. Ah, shoot. Mm, bistro Butcher, huh? Oh, somebody done told you the fuck wrong. Okay, um, and we'll do right there. Wait, no, you're not a dragon. Oh, no. I thought that was dragon with the Earth's ass head. I don't, I don't know why. Okay, so this is not good. This is really bad. Um, Cyber Wolf to buy me some time. Can I throw some on ice water? Not with what I have currently. Your boy needs a good card right here. I am afraid of Bistro Butcher. Wow, Warrior. It was probably you I fused with to get a better aquatic monster, cuz. I could throw you on ice water, but if that fails, that'd be bad news for me. I just want to get rid of Ancient Jar, so yeah, I'm burning cards. People more familiar with fusions are probably looking at the wasted fusions I'm doing, just like, dude, what? I am genuinely frightened by what she has face down. Fire Reaper. Reaper. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Really? What kind of deck are you using, Mai? Thank you, but n now I am shook of so I'm going to play it safe. I could get a Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon out right now. But... She has two face-down, like, trap cards. Take out the bigger threat. They did not activate. I'm not gonna lie, like, this is very tempting. Which I know would get rid of my monster, but... Those cards, like... Wait, is that every card? Yep, every card in play. No, you're valuable. You're valuable to actually everything here is valuable. Just burn card. Rid of the Bistro Butcher. Let's see. Hey, good choice, good choice. You chose to attack. Do much. All right, let's see. Is it gonna be a fake trap? No. What does she have face down? She just do that to like create room in her hand, which is a good idea. Oh no. I was hoping she would have attacked uh, Graveyard in the hand of 
Initiative? I wasn't expecting to equip cards. <laughs> that, uh, that threw me off. Well, thank God I didn't use Dark Hole. Preemptively. I'm waiting for her to, like, play a second monster. Get the most use out of it. Because I'm going to be... Oh my god. I'm going to be a sitting duck. Goblin Secret Remedy? Really? Okay. My card draws are awful. I'm not, I'm not in the business of getting my little D crushed by, like, her ancient elf that is wearing, like, the bustiers and, the, like, carrying the whip right now. Like, nah, no BDSM today. No BDSM. This is a business, you I gotta... We're doing it now. I regret everything. Crimson Sunbird. Oh my fucking god. What? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> A giant red sea snake. Are you Mako now? Part of the cards guide me because I'm about to lose. Thank you. So we are not going to be cute with this. We're just going to go ahead and do it. Twin headed thunder dragon, let's go. Get rid of the bigger threat first. <laughs> Just. What are you doing? Oh, mystical sand. Now I need to be careful because I'm nearing the end of my deck. Yeah, you're a dinosaur, okay. Um probably could fuse, but I'm I won't. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Cause yeah, if you can't draw enough cards to get to five in your hand you automatically lose. Oh, look at you with your little great white. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, I got a shark boy. I'm playing a dangerous game right now. But my life points are not that high. But I have little D energy. will guide me to success. Be smarter than the fairies. Um... I think this can make something. 
Okay, no it can't. I'm... I'll risk it. I regret everything. Oh, thank God. Why the fuck not? Whatever. I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, she, if, if she's just summoned like another Kochikoshi, I would lose. Wow, you dumb. This was down to the wire. I am going to get a horrible rating and a horrible card. And here I thought, oh, I'm going to be able to do four duels in 30 minutes. Like, um, not if they go like that. Skull Redbird? Is that the one that's like 1550? Is there one that's 1550? I guess I lost. Oh, well, I suppose I'll simply wish you luck. You don't look like you are. You look you look salty. You play a tough game, Yugi. What do you wanna do? Wanna check out this card first? It is the one that's 1550! Okay, we will be dueling my in free duel. Um yeah, this monster swoops down and attacks with a rain of knives stored in its wings. Yes sir, he cooking. He cooking. Get rid of you. Let's bring you in. All right, let's let's save a da gamma. And now, let's win. Preliminary match number four: Yugi versus Bandit Keith. Long time no see. I came to bury you in America. Yugi. Get ready for a thrashing. An American thrashing. I love his sprite. I, I just he it's it's just so good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be prepared for machines. I'm gonna save this fusion in my back pocket. So we'll summon a little terror, the terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Sickening. You no attack. All right, well now then we go ahead and we unleash the beast. Dragon Zambi, let's go. This son of a bitch just laid out turn one Zoa. Okay. And Dark Elf. The fear is real. 
he just saving them like to get Metal Zoa out? Okay, like I'm halfway there, but I need a dragon. Yes, I am burning cards. Cause it's like the moment he gets that Zoa, like I don't, I don't know, man. I, oh my god. Yeah, like the only thing I can do to like beat Zoa is have twin-headed thunder dragon, which ain't happening. Or if thousand dragon can be, oh my god, I think I'm actually gonna lose. He is definitely gonna deal more than 53. I I've lost. There is nothing I can do. Moon. Yeah, cause sun beats moon. Um. Damn. If only I had you out earlier, I could have put you on sun and like beat him while he was in defense mode. Venus to be no, yeah, Venus to beat you. Venus to be you. There's nothing I can do here. Oh my god, I desperately need some fire monsters too. Cause flame Cerberus is good. Crimson Sunbird is good, but I think you need fire for those. Why am I delaying the inevitable? I lost. Well, Bandy Keith really did give me that good old American thrashing. Oh my god, I'm living. I mean, this is tempting, but then he'll just summon something that will definitely one-shot me. So... Because, yeah, the combination for Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon... Like, if I use Thunder... Or Electric Snake, or whatever the snake is, on him... On, like, on, on the uh, Airsats Dragon... He would have only become a Thunder Dragon with 1600 attack. You have to have a dragon that's over 1500 attack. And then use, like, or fuse it with an electric monster to get Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Yeah, I am going to be playing, like, super safe right now. No, I'd, I'd be even afraid to get like a, uh, like the jungle dragon out, because if he summoned another Zoa, I mean, that wouldn't be enough to kill me, but it, it, it would hurt. So now it's just a matter of me, like, either baiting out his attacks, but I know he's not going to attack. Never mind, you stupid. Okay, well, um, he's stupid. Paranoid, I'm using the stronger grass one. Hopefully this won't backfire. <laughs> Thank God monster effects are not in place. <sighs> A 
little D energy. Let's go. Yeah, I just did face up defense. I'm trying to bait out attacks. See, never give up, never give up. You, you can turn the tide of the duel. Idiot took the bait. I don't think this can get me anything, can it? It can! Cybersaurus. Mm. Well, I'm afraid because Azoa is like would be very bad. So I'll just bait out an attack. <laughs> At 700 life points, I'm playing defensively. No ifs, ands, or buts. Oh yeah, and because I owed you one from the uh, previous video. I love that the music switches up, depending on what era you're in. Hey, your model is actually frightening. I kind of forgot about that. Here's my boy. You helped me get through Duelist of the Roses. I think it's smooth sailing from here on out. He might not even take the bait. He is. Bandit Keith, are you okay? Boy, that American brain rot. It's just... Mm -mm. Thought that would make something. And because I am not dumb, oh, he didn't take the blatant bait this time around. Yeah, let's not get cute with it. Actually, let's get cute with it. I'm dragging it out. Should have did a second 3D battle. Oh well. All of that and you give me Zombie Warrior. I fucking hate you. Then again, that's all I deserve. I, I was not playing well in that fight. I, 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 me, the car professor, beaten by this, this kid, in America of all places. Right. I heard you made the finals. That's great. Keep it up. Now, what do you want to do? 
I'm gonna scoff at this zombie warrior. I mean, 1200 is fine. Yeah, and since I can use, like, zombie dragon path to get twin-headed thunder dragon with my one, like, freaking thunder monster. Um... Yeah, we'll at least get, like, you in, because you have better stats. Slowly but surely, I'm building a better deck. But that is going to be it for me for today. Uh, as you can see, the battles are getting tougher. Um, I will probably be doing a few more um, free duels. Because the next round of battles are, like, the finals. Things get a little bit tougher. And I am afraid. But I will prevail. Somehow. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Goodbye.